What is up, guys? Silver here, and today. <laughs> Alright, there we go. My lag is gone. Thank the Lord. Okay. Well, uh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back for another episode of the Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. And, uh, it's Friday, and I feel good, so I'm ready to play, and I probably shouldn't lead with Ninetales, but, yeah, I got everyone trained up. I went ahead and renamed, uh, Magnazone to something cooler, so I named him Polarity, um, because, you know, Magnetic, I don't know, um, so, you got Discharge, Magnet Rise, Thunder Wave, and Mirror Shot, which is, actually, I could probably teach him some TMs, so let's go ahead and do that. Um... What could I teach him? I don't really know. Um, probably not Poison Jab. Probably not Pluck. Probably not U-Turn. Um, actually, I... Nothing. Okay. Well, I see how it is. But either in either end of the event, I still need to lead with not Ninetales. So, um, my level limit is 52. Even though, you will not... Yo, champ in the making. So, <laughs> a dragon type Pokemon you can't damage them very easily. You're supposed to be doing events. Okay, yeah. So he gives you that little lecture, and he tells you that you're supposed to. Uh... I can't go that way. Well, screw you. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been to Claire's gym, so if I seem like really stupid, then there's a reason for that. Sup? <laughs> what goes on, bro? Your first battle against dragons? Nah, I battled dragons before. Back in my day, son, it used to be dragons all over the places. Ooh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like I was saying, my level limit is 52. Even though Claire's uh, highest Pokemon is level 50, I think. Uh, I went ahead and taught Star Bird Brave Bird because it could come in handy if I need it to. Ooh, dragon tanks. You know I mean, what's a friggin' level 46 Stratini going to do to me? Probably nothing. I'm still faster than it. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> you know, that's not good. So, um, I do happen to know that you do get a Dratini uh, coming up pretty soon, I think. So that's really helpful. A couple other things I know. Uh, Claire is a butt face. Um, what else do I know? I'm going to count, ah, uh, I'm going to count my encounter for the Dragon's Den and that Dratini that you get. Uh, for from that one guy, from the elder guy. Uh, so I'm going to count both for the dragon's den, even though you know that's kind of illegal. Whatever. Did I seriously? I did. I just got poisoned. But that's okay, cause I still have 441 full heals, and God knows why. Um. Holy crap! That's a lot of damage. Well, it is hydro pump. All right. Well, I'm out of here then. Um. I guess we'll go ahead and send you out. Um, call, yeah, Claire's a butt face. I'm gonna count both. There are seven Kimono girls. Uh, they're one with each evolution, which is fantastic. Um, so those are going to be insanely difficult to beat. Um, so that's really gonna suck. Um, I guess that did more damage because of rain. Oh well. Um, What else? What else? What else? What else? I don't really know. What else is there? There's not really anything. Um, <laughs> three hit points. Oh god, that's amazing. Okay, very good. And then a Bagon. Oh, she probably has a Salamence. So I'm going to need someone to lead with that's pretty solid against those evolutions. And. My best bet's probably gonna be. Hmm. I don't know. It's a really hard decision because pretty much all of them can learn dig. I'm pretty sure all of them can learn dig. So an electric type isn't particularly favorable. So probably my best bet is either Star Raptor or Glaceon. Actually, a water type probably wouldn't be that bad. Well. I don't think this is really a discussion for right now, so let's actually just, uh, heal, because I kind of need to do that. Um, 
I still don't understand why they don't have full restores. I swear, that's gonna freaking, like, destroy me. Um, but, yeah. So... Um... I guess we'll go ahead and try Magnazoon out. He didn't really get- he, he was supposed to get Flash Cannon, but he didn't. And I was kind of surprised. Because I remember facing a Magneton a while back and that had Flash Cannon, and it was definitely lower than level 50, so I don't really know why it doesn't- why my Magnazoon didn't learn it. Or my Magneton didn't learn it, but eh. Let's go ahead and use Mirror Shot. Aqua Tail. Okay. So, one thing I was considering was switching one of my electric types out for that Dratini that I'm gonna get. Which might not be a bad idea, because I think walking into the Elite Four with two electric types isn't going to be particularly amazing. So I might switch Dratini, because Dratini could be r really good. Um, it'd be better if it if I could use, like, Skill Swap, Shedinja, or whatever, but... Uh, I guess it's tolerable, but yeah, it's something like that is probably what I'm gonna go with. You lucky bastard. Uh, sorry, um... Uh, it's probably faster than me, so I probably couldn't have done Magnet Rise, but I'm not really in a particularly favorable match anyway, so... Um... I don't know if it's going to be faster than me, so I guess... I'm just gonna Aurora Beam. Yeah, I'm faster than it. So I didn't really want to waste my Ice Beams. My Ice Beams are going to be very valuable in this fight, so... Or in this gym. Per in Just in general, in this gym, so... I didn't want to waste it. Plus, Aurora Beam probably would've knocked it out anyways, but whatever. Wow. You are such a show-off. Do you know that? You are such a show-off. You need to stop gloating. Ugh. But I am... Fairly certain that I can, in fact, walk out of this gym without a casualty. Um, that's of course not a promise, but I'm pretty confident in my Pokemon. My Pokemon have actually done really good in the past gyms. So, I'm pretty confident in them. We're gonna do, I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna do pretty good. Plus, I got, kind of gave myself an advantage by raising the level in it when I kind of wasn't supposed to, but meh. Oh, you dick bag. Oh, stop it. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I suck at Claire's gym. It's so bad. Um. Alright. What's up? What's up? What's up, homeboy? It's not as if we all use Dragon-type Pokemon. It's about more than that. We're interested in straw Pokemon. That's my theme. Man, that's just not enough Dragon-types for you, is there? Well, well, whatever. Uh, well, I'm out of here in any event. So, um, God, what's, what did he talk about? Coral Cora has been rather lackluster lately. I've kept, I've like continuously looked for Coral Cora and I cannot find it to save my life. And it's just like, man, I want some new anime episodes revealed. Come on, people. So it's just, it's just stupid. So I don't know why Coral Cora hasn't updated recently, but eh, they should have. Like, by now, it's like almost the end of March. It's like the 27th. But, meh. Ooh, an Altaria. Mm. Ooh. Um, I'm faster than it. You're actually really fast. Which is good. Very good, indeed. Um, nice, solid one hit KO. So, yeah, mmm... I don't think it's any, I don't think it's a giant test question on who I should lead with in this, uh, thing. God, this, I read this book last night, oh my god, it was literally, like, one of the funniest things I've ever read. It's like, so the title's F and Exams, and it's by this guy who lives in London. <clears throat> it's, like, the funniest thing ever, so, he basically tells, it's called F and Exams, and then the subtitle is the app, the, the very best totally wrong answers to test questions. As in, it's like, um, it's like, <laughs> have you ever come, walked up to a test and like, I'm gonna ace this, and then you just look at it and it's like, your mind draws a blank. Well, this is how some students 
uh, or this is some answers that some students gave to those questions. It was just hilarious, and I don't, I don't know, it was just so funny. Um, <laughs> one of the answers was like, in psychology, I cannot lead with quarter to save my life. Um, in psychology, it was like, explain blah blah blah's dream theory, and basically the guy's answer was, so basically, when you're dreaming about cookies, you're subconsciously thinking about having sex. But when you're dreaming about having sex, you're subconsciously thinking about cookies. That's the theory. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, miss with supersonic Flygon. Yeah, Flygon suck. But Flygon are actually, I mean, as in when you're facing them, they're really bad. But when they're, you have them, they're awesome, and I still don't know why we haven't seen Mega Flygon yet, but... Hen, hen, people! Oh my god. I don't understand. Mega Flygon. Why didn't it happen? Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Why didn't it happen? There's one more guy. Oh, but there's a warp panel. Well, I definitely want to hit level 50 before I fight Claire, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. What's up, bro? My chances of losing? Not even 1%. This is one of those times where just like... Man, that 1%. This destroys you every time. Shell gun. I mean, it's if you want to, you're gonna get wrecked. R E K T D. Wrecked. <laughs> but, I mean, ugh, not double super effective, so you could survive, but you didn't. Because Shell gun have no special defense. At least I'm pretty sure. I only use a Talamence once. I know, you're disappointed in me, but it, it, it's, it's true. I'm probably gonna use the Salamence when I finish playing through Alpha Sapphire, though. I played through Omega Ruby, and then I wanted Alpha Sapphire so I could get all those nice legendaries and stuff, but... <sighs> I haven't really been playing very much lately. Warp to the front. Well, I'm not quite level fit. Oh, that's just Mom. I thought it was, like, freaking like, Boba or something, because I, I, I thought I wasn't able to move. I... I'm slagging so much. It's probably because I'm not using the whatevers or whatevers. This is a new route, isn't it? Shoot. Ice path, here I come. I'll probably just cut this part out. I'm too lazy to pause. I'm on a roll. Stop calling me. Stop it. Stop. Stop calling me. I just want a freaking Pokemon in the ice path, okay? I just want a Pokemon in the ice path. This is not hard. Thank you. A swindub. Swindub. Alright. It's one or two fights will get me up to level 50. Which is good, because I really need to get there. Um. Ugh, critical hit. Um. 423. Yeah, one more fight. I knew it was gonna happen. Golbat. A Golbat. What? Yeah, I don't have a very good history with Ice Path. You saw in my other video that it was like I ran into a smooch and I was just like, nope. <laughs> Screw you guys. Um, yeah, I don't really. I really don't like smooch him and Jinx. And that's mainly because it just. Not only is it outrageously ugly, but it just caused some so whole sort of debate. Which is actually very. You know, it was pretty logical on how that debate was. About uh, taking after some sort of American fad, or some- I think it was American? Maybe it was Japanese. Uh, but looking a, a lot like some African-American something, and it was, ugh, it was stupid. Um, but I, that's really just like, like why? This is Pokemon, you're not really- I mean, if you want to go- if you want to look at Pokemon that way, that's fine. That's- I think that- <laughs> I think that's completely logical, but- Seriously, it's just like, why? Why do you need to think about this? It's a kid's game. I mean, unless a kid, like, specifically has been told stories about this guy from their parents, how are they gonna know about it? So, I mean, I just don't look at Pokemon like that. <clears throat> That's why I, like, all my, like, m the majority of my friends are just like, oh, Pokemon's stupid, it's a like little kid's game. And while it is, I, I love the, I love the Pokemon. They're so cute. Oh my god, oh my god, cutest things I've ever seen. Cutest. Oh my god, they're seriously like some of the most adorable Pokemon. 
in existence. Oh my god. So cute. I don't understand why some Pokemon have to be so freaking adorable. Like Eevee. Glaceon is adorable. Oh my god. Espeon is pretty cute too. Oh my god. And some of the Pokemon... Oh god, they're just so adorable. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of soft. Whatever. I'm going to fight some weird... I don't know. I try... No! No, 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 no. I'm gonna fight some... Some dumbass bitch who thinks dragons are like the coolest thing since sliced bread. And it is, and they are, but... I mean, you don't have to go around and acting like it. Some people don't think that dragons are the coolest thing since sliced bread. God! Frick! Alright! Did I go to the Pokemon Center? Wait, yes I did. I did go to the Pokemon Center. I'm so good. Okay. Fight me. I am Claire. That's a deep voice. The world's best dragon type master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do this. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting. What's up? Hey, Dragonair! Sup, bro? Sup, bro? Ah, oh, so good. Okay. Well, final gym leader of the game, and that's Claire, the dragon type cousin. No, she's not a dragon type human, I promise. No, she's the dragon type trainer cousin of Lance. That one guy who I'm pretty sure helped me defeat Team Rocket that one time. Um, ooh, Salamence. I forgot to equip berries on people, but that's okay, because, um... Ha! 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 I'm sorry, that was funny. That's probably dead, too. That's probably dead. <laughs> I was probably dead if he didn't miss. Oh, crap. That's so good. You're so good, Korra. Yeah, okay, what are you going to do with me? Rock Blast? Oh. Hey! Watch your mouth! Can't breathe fire on me, bitch. <laughs> uh. Yeah, get out of here, Altaria. Alright, well. Things start getting a bit more difficult from here. I do not know if she has a Dragonite. I do not believe so. But I don't really know. Sorry if I'm offending you, my accent is in fact horrible. Uh, Dragonair. Okay, well, ah. Uh, can Dragonair learn Flamethrower? I don't think so, so I should be okay for one more turn, but I don't know. Why do so many of her put, I guess, to counter ice types? Whatever, I don't care. I'm going to destroy you and all of your loved ones because I'm just- Oh, outrage till we win! God, stop it. Stop. Outrage is a very sacred move. You cannot use that here. Okay. <laughs> I want to get this shirt so badly. Uh, you have no idea. For those of you who don't know, that's a Dookie Shed reference. Dookie Shed is by far one of the most hilarious YouTubers, uh, Pokemon YouTubers, like, ever. Oh my god, he's so hilarious. And it's top, it was like, it's definitely a famous moment of his during his top 10, uh, top 10 favorite Pokemon. His, like, number, I think number five or four was Salamence, and he was like, So I brought the Salamence with me into the Elite Four. Uh, <laughs> my strategy? Outrage till we win! <laughs> it was literally, like, the funniest thing ever. Outrage till we win! Like, keep outraging! Confused? Eat your berry! Keep outraging! Confused again? I don't care! Keep outraging! Ugh. I, I don't know, I can't decide if I want the Arbok or Salamence one. Because I am a fan of Nate and Dookie as well. Watch their Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Ugh. So funny. So funny. You got. You have to go see it. Dookie Shed's top 10 favorite Pokemon. Seriously, one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. You're stuck in Outrage. You're doing like 20 damage to me. You should be ashamed. That's a 120 power Dragon type move. You're doing 20 damage. 20. All right, well, here comes the big, big guns, big something. Uh, 
Sorry. Alright, Kingdra. With its ball capsule and everything. One Pokemon left. This is where the real battle begins. Um. Daisy. Daisy, stop it. Stop it, Daisy. I promise it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Daisy. I promise. Hey! No. Hey! Stop it. Stop it, Daisy. That was a good move. Shoot. Uh, there's no one gonna kill you, I promise. I promise, Daisy, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Hit with discharge, please. Nope. Of course not. Why would you hit with discharge? That's a stupid move. Um, I don't know what this thing's gonna do to me. That's the problem. Ooh, Hydro Pump. I don't like that. At all. Hi, Daisy. What are you doing? Oh, you're alive. Oh, but you're about to be dead. Well, shoot. No, no, you're not allowed about to be dead. Huh. Okay. Get down, Daisy. Or do you want to stay up here? You want to stay up here? Do you want to stay up here or no? Oh, paralyzation. Very good. Very good job, sirs. Okay. Time to switch out. Um. But who? See, this is a very... <clears throat> should I say interesting question? Because... See, right about now is when you wish you had one of those moves, like Electro Ball or something. But you don't, and that's the problem. Alright, very good. Paralyzed? Okay, so this is where it gets really interesting. The main, the one move I know I want to do is Aurora Beam. And the reason I say that is because I want to avoid all healing items if possible. So I want to go for Aurora Beam first. And see how much that does. And then after that happens, we'll see how it goes from there. So, Swagger is in fact a pretty decent move. And, in, you know, not one of those things where it's like, um... Because that's, especially particularly on Pokemon like Magnezone or uh, Glaceon, because they don't use, they don't use physical-based attacks. So that's the problem. So let's go ahead and use Aurora Beam, because... I don't want to do too much damage, and I want to test and see how much it does. Oh, nice! Alright, that's good! Good, use your Citrus Berry. Very good! Okay, so that is good. We are looking very good here. So, you're just raising my attack a bunch, and I don't really know why. You're kidding, right? I'm supposed to win. I already decided. Well, that's too bad. So let's go ahead and use uh, another folio because I still have like 430 of those. So. <sighs> All right, good, 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 good. So let's go ahead and try Ice Beam. If it doesn't kill him, then I should be okay. But we'll just see. Yeah, nice, very good. You want to get down, Daisy? There you go. You're very wet. Now I smell like wet dog. Dang it. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. No, not really. I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you're not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon Master Challenge. But I just fed, fed, dragon's done. Yeah, you're lazy ideals. I will admit you. Yeah, okay. You wish I was lazy. Actually, I am, but whatever. That's not the point, okay? There's... I have to have Whirlpool, don't I? Frick! I don't have- I don't want Whirlpool. Whirlpool's terrible. Wait, is it? I don't know. Let's see. It's a power 35, accuracy 85. Yeah, it's still terrible. Alright, well, I'm not really gonna even change the sidebar. It's not really worth it. Uh, so... I'm going to... Let's put in mm, Gyarados, I guess. Uh, rid of some Pokemon here. Why do you do this to me? I don't know what the requirements are to get that Dratini, but, because I've never actually gotten it before, I just know that it's there. So, I don't really know what the requirements are to get it, but somehow I'm going to get it. And that is that is my vow today. Um, 
Ice Fang, Octail, and Rain Dance. Well, I, Rain Dance is not really necessary as I already have a Pokemon with ability that completely overrides it. So, I guess I should probably heal. No, I'm already healed. Never mind. I think I guess I already healed. Which is good, because, um, so let's go ahead and head to the Dragon's Den, which is some weird random place that Claire told me about. Uh, yeah, the Dragon's Den is, just to me, never really served much of a purpose, other than to get a free Dratini, which is awesome. But, of course, I've never really gotten it before. So, uh, that being said, it's always been kind of useless to me. Um... Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl's a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you only answer a few questions. Ready? What a Pokemon to you? They are friends, so Koro's awesome. What helps you win battles? Well, um, strategy, actually. I would say cheating, but, you know. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anyone! Love. Love is definitely the most important. I love Korra. Korra's so good. Which is more important? BOTH! Plot twist. Very commendable. Oh, Jesus. What is the music? So how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail? What? You passed? That can't be! You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Claire. This child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Emit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it, before I freaking change my mind! Yeah. That's the eighth badge! I mean, every command without question. Claire, reflect on Palm, what is your hearing this child has? Yeah, get out of here. No one likes you. Never mind. Just mad words of the old. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What do you guys have to say for yourselves? Not since Master Lance. You know, young Master Lance is so much like our master did in, our, in his youth. It's in their blood. Master Lance. That's a cool name. Wish I was named Master Lance. Sup? Ugh. Why do I don't have heads running around? Give me a freaking Dratini before I kill you. What is this item? Dragon Fang. Well, fantastic. Why is that helpful? It's not. I don't have any Pokemon that can use a Dragon Fang. None. Zero. Zilch. Ugh. Why does everyone have to suck so much balls? Ugh. That's what I'm going to be facing next time, too. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, I'm planning another Nuzlocke after this, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. But now, what the f fuck do you want? Wait, I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. What is that? Drag- Dragon Pulse? It is Dragon Pulse. Faith is telling me I have some unfinished business. Come on, what do you have to face now? Don't you dare give up. I'll get your all, and I will give you my number. There will come a time where I'll prevail. Well, that would suck, because then I would lose. What the heck? You you wall hacker! Jesus Christ! Okay. Did, and did no one pay attention to that? <laughs> did no one pay attention to that? Oh, Jesus! Holy crap! 
Hello, May. How's it going? I've gotten hold of something neat. Swing by my lab and pick it up. That was a short phone call. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. Uh, um, uh, you can also subscribe down below if you want to get alerts or notifications when my new videos come out. If you want to stay tuned for the more of the Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. Anyways, guys, my name is Silver, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys later. Peace.